Good morning. It's uh, Wednesday, September the 28th is what it is. Uh, I, as you can see, I already put some feed out for the, uh, for the chickens. They're already out. Uh, I didn't figure you'd want to wash that again. Uh, I put down some, uh, some leftover uh, lasagna noodles and they're cooking through that. Got some carrots in there with that. Uh, it's because nobody likes carrots. Anyhow, a uh, little bit drizzly today, kind of cooler. Let's get uh, things checked out. Uh, ended up, uh, had a doctor's appointment yesterday morning. Uh, from there, the doctor shipped me over to the, to the hospital, has some uh, things checked out. Uh, ended up a little bit low on the uh, on the pulse rate, so I'm gonna have to get that adjusted by the cardiologist, no big deal. So I told told the, uh, the my primary that I, I really feel fine, but it's getting a little bit uh, concerned because every once in a while you get a little bit dizzy. Uh, you know that makes perfect sense. Your your your, uh, your pulse rate drops down. The, Kind of low, if you start to feel a little dizzy. Alright, so, enough said about that. I'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> regardless, I'll be fine. <clears throat> so, take a look at what we got. You can see the uh, foliage is changing. Look up this way right here, up through the opening there. You can see a few reds in there, but we still don't have a lot of rain coming. Uh, looks like Florida's getting hammered this morning. Uh, and it went south, more south than they had predicted. With that, my question is, is it going to come up directly up the east coast? I hear a truck up on the old road. Another load of logs going off. Those guys start fairly early in the morning. I don't know if that's because they like to or if it's just tradition. Because <clears throat> they used to haul the wood out. Out the woods on skids at night because everything would freeze up and it was more firmer ground. They'd actually make basically ice tracks to run, to drag the... Uh, the timber carts out. So, that's been a miserable job. <laughs> you can see what's going on this morning. We ran all night long. Did not run all, all day yesterday, but we ran all night long last night. And it's still producing, so that's a, that's a positive. bit of a sniffles this morning, uh, a little bit of scratchy throat. We woke up at uh, 3 o'clock with a uh, motor vehicle accident call. We were just about to the, to the scene and our, uh, the, the primary fire department there called us off and said we didn't need to show up. So, uh, we turned around went back to the department and everybody went home with the bed. But that's what, that's what uh, we do as a volunteer fire department. You know, we do whatever, whatever, whatever needs to be done, that's what we do. <laughs> that was another rollover accident. So, uh, <laughs> but uh, but everybody was out of the vehicle. It, they, they were just fine. 
They were standing there waiting for somebody to show up. Not normally what happens, but that's a good, that's a good thing. Nobody likes to see anybody lose uh, their their property and you know get in an accident and have things like that happen. But uh, fortunately for everybody involved, it's just stuff that can be replaced, can be fixed. Uh, you, on the other hand, you know you're you you can't be replaced. So. <laughs> so take care of yourself, you know, slow down a little bit. Maybe uh, if you're drowsy, you know, 3 o'clock in the morning, I guess they were going hiking, but they could have done that, waited until a little closer to daylight. And I, I'm not sure where they were going, but they could have been going off somewhere, uh, you know, farther away and needed to travel, but hey, it's still going to be there at... Uh, at nine o'clock in the morning as opposed to six so and at this time of the morning it's you know the rain is still drizzling down although it's supposed to be clearing off and uh, you know you, you really can't see anything to enjoy unless you're looking for a sunrise so let's take a look at the uh, the downstream tail race is looking fine You'll see we're not we're not uh, over abundant. We had like a quarter inch of rain yesterday, so that helps. Get down here a little closer. Take a look downstream. Now let's look upstream past the uh, you can see the waterfalls up there. head back inside see what's going on in there uh, uh, yesterday I uh, got rid of the eggs uh, none of them hatched put everything away so that's uh, done for the season we'll see what uh, what early spring looks like and then we'll uh, make a determination on whether we get uh, started or not the new tires are on the tractor so that's a plus. I, I was not here to watch it being done because uh, uh, the doctor was shipping me down in the in the, uh, in the ambulance to the ER to find out what was going on. I said I told the uh, my primary. I said I can't go. <laughs> I got a guy going to change the tires on my tractor can't go today I gotta go I'll go later today and uh, she would hear nothing of it so <laughs> she told me I had the right to refuse but, but then she would be mad so you do what they say I'm not a doctor so I don't uh, you know try to tell her what to do and how to do it and and she does she does a good job and say probably saved my life uh, four or five times already so, we, even though we try to give her a hard time, we don't because she's <coughs> really the reason why I'm still here. So, got a little water on the floor this morning. It leaks in underneath the uh, where the conduit comes up through. And that's very typical. We are just we're running not too bad. We're just running, which is which is fantastic. Okay. So, gotta dump out some of the coffee I had left over from yesterday. And uh, I know it would have changed. Terrible things I have to do. But we need some more. We need to make some fresh this morning. So, <laughs> we can do that. All right.
swimming at, at 8.30 and then uh, have the, uh, uh, you know, the tractor, the tire guy show up at, at 9.30. So we try to coordinate all that. Of course, it doesn't ever work when we try to coordinate and things don't happen at our time. So we don't get overly excited about that. My granddaughter came down, uh, met with the guy. He was, by the time she got down here, she said he was, he was already done. I almost had the second tire done. So she uh, she asked him to you know, check with him and make sure everything was okay. And he was copacetic and he didn't have a problem. He didn't care. So anyway, uh, then yesterday, last night, we had a, uh, a huge fire drill. Uh, we, were, we were doing some pump operations. We did, uh, we had a, it was a multitude, multitude multi fire department multi uh, scenario drill uh, we did tank ops we did pump ops we did tower and ladder work we did uh, we smoked out uh, a building and we did uh, complex layouts so it was that was fantastic uh, great cooperation with the uh, with all, all of the other departments, with Wells, Indian, uh, Wells, Lake Pleasant, uh, Pasico, and Speculator, everybody worked well together, that, and we're trying to keep doing that, because uh, we want to get rid of the, uh, uh, of the, the fire department pride thing. Uh, you know, we're too proud to call them guys, we can do this ourselves. Well, in reality, nowadays, you can't. So every department is important, every department is needed, every individual is needed, uh, just because we, we can't, fire is different nowadays than it was even 20 years ago, and so uh, because of synthetics and, and hotter burning fires and more deadly smoke and faster burning fires, uh, point, point is, uh, Everybody's got to be involved, and we need as many people as possible. And we don't have people aren't volunteering for, for EMS or for, or for fire departments. It's hard to find people to sit on the school board, to to uh, be, be part of a PTA, to be a community uh, organizing group. <laughs> and people are busy because they're not, everybody's busy. Everybody is busy. And you know the dynamics of the of the of the communities have changed because it used to be that you became part of the community, you got involved, uh, you became a, a, uh, a part, and you helped the community along. And people just don't do that. They don't. Even, most of the people don't even know their neighbors anymore. They can't go down there and knock on the door and say, "Can I borrow a cup of sugar?" Because they don't even know who they are. So. Anyhow, that's a that's a side rant. We don't need to go through there. But the point is, if you've got a small, you know, a small, you're living in a small community, and you have any kind of uh, skill, you can walk, you can talk, you can breathe, you can hold the hose. Uh, your fire department needs you. Uh, your EMS needs you. You can drive the the, the ambulance. Then you're, 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 you're needed. Uh, you may not want to be an EMT, you may not want to be a paramedic, you may not want to do all of that hands on stuff. But the behind the scenes people need to hire as important as anybody else. Uh, I, don't, I don't do physical firefighting anymore. I do truck apps. Uh, I, I drive to the scene, I run the pumps, I, I, I run the ladder. I'm the prominent uh, driver uh, of the, the primary apparatus, so whatever the first first apparatus to see, I'm, I'm usually the operator, uh, unless I'm out of town, of course, but, uh, and then the secondary operator comes with whatever support vehicles also we need. Uh, <clears throat> not that I'm better than, than the support driver or the other guy, but I'm usually the first one there, so to live within three blocks of the fire hall. But anyways, uh, that being said, you know, get 
involved in your community, find out what's happening. Uh, you can you can make a difference. So enough rant, enough rage. Uh, you people have uh, have a glorious day. Hopefully, the people down there in Florida are safe and sound. Uh, if they, if they ask you to evacuate, please evacuate. Uh, it, it can not only save your life, but it can save the life of somebody who has to come and rescue you. That being said, you guys have a fantastic day.